Here's how to control uh, two models at the same time using a switch to flip between the two of them. You can see here I've got uh, two receivers. One of them is bound to the internal module and it's controlling uh, one servo. And then I can flip the switch and now I'm controlling the servo that's connected to the other receiver. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I have the internal module bound to the free sky. I've got the external module bound to this old uh, DSM-2. Binding is just as you would do normally with the internal or external module with one thing you have to pay attention to. We're going to scroll down and we're going to see on the internal RF we've got that bound to channels 1 through 16. And, and that'll just be the normal thing, you know, as, as per normal binding. But you'll notice on the external RF, we have the channel range bound to 17 through 24. So basically, I think this is a six-channel receiver, so it'll be channel 17, and then the subsequent six channels uh, will be bound to this receiver. So that's uh, pretty straightforward. And then how do we control the switching? Well, we're going to make use of flight modes. And what we're going to do is set up two really simple flight modes. I've got these already set up so you don't have to watch me laboriously type the name. But what I did is I entered the name and then I came and entered the switch and set switch F to be up. Likewise, for Model 2, the only modification that I made was for switch F to be down. So we can see here on the flight mode screen, there's switch F up and down. And when I switch between uh, switch F being up and down, we can see that the flight mode is indeed changing to flight mode 1 and flight mode 2. Okay, we don't have to do anything special on inputs. I just mapped uh, the aileron uh, to both of these. And here is the interesting thing. To do this, all we have to do is we just use the standard setting. Here's 100% aileron. And you can see that's just uh, normal. And the only thing is is this mode line, which you're used to seeing as like all, as being like zero, one, two, three, four, blah, 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 all the way across. We're only gonna set this active in mode one. So when mode one is active, it'll feed the aileron to channel one. When mode one, when, uh, when flight mode one is not active, it won't receive anything. It'll just receive the default. Uh, likewise, down here on channel 17, same exact thing. We've got aileron 100%, and we've got flight mode 2. So this is only going to take effect when flight mode 2 is active. And that's how we get to the two different uh, receivers is by changing the flight mode, which are set by switch uh, F. You can see on the main screen, it swaps between model one and model two. And you can see as we move between those, there's model one being controlled and there's model two being controlled. So expand that out to multiple channels and that should be just about all you have to do. There's some fancier stuff that we'll cover in another video, but this is the basics of what you need to know.